Hello, hello everyone! Welcome to my YouTube channel. It's Marta here. How are you? I hope you are as excited as I am because we're gonna open something that is totally secret, totally surprise to me and we are gonna be crafting with it. It's a kind of like a Marami Mystery World challenge but one different thing is that there's two kits like that, there's two boxes like this. And Katya, who shipped it to me, have exactly the same box uh, in her house and she's crafting from it. So she created a kit, she created a set of things, I had no idea what's in there. And she said, why don't you craft with yours and I craft with mine and we'll see how we are gonna do it, you know. I said, hmm, that's very exciting actually. So if you want to see Katya's project at this moment when I'm crafting and recording it I have no idea what she's done I have no clue she did her project already actually I'll be honest she did her project more than a month ago I'm really bad with commitments and things like that but I'm getting there it's just slower than maybe I wish or I'm able to so without any more chats guys let's open this box and let's see what's inside because I'm super excited I do know she used uh, texture paste and stencil as extra that's all she said to me <laughs> she has YouTube channel of course so have a look I'm gonna give you links in the description box so please have a check it this is so exciting <laughs> Okay, knife in my hand, let's see what's in here. <laughs> I really have no idea, Katya is very talented, she has been crafting for very long and I've been a fan of her for many years actually and she came along uh, the last few months extremely. She is crafting such stunning pieces that you have to check it out and yes, uh, it's exciting to see that other friends crafters are spreading their wing wings and it's just exciting to see it being part of it so I'm super happy that you can have a look at her her channel and check her videos check her projects oh oh <laughs> this is so 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 exciting thank you so much by the way Katya I should have mentioned that it's in the first place thank you so much <gasps> look at that Look at this! Thank you, dear Marta, for having this challenge with me. Enjoy your kit, Katya. Hmm. Isn't it that just gorgeous? So, I mean, seriously, this is so pretty. So, so, so pretty. Thank you so much, Katya. Now I have to go off camera a little bit because there's a sticker with her address on it. I hope I didn't cut it on the camera. And if I did, I'm gonna. <laughs> deleted it so let me just uh, Katya is from Sweden by the way so yes in interesting exciting isn't it okay and we have some papers as well I'm checking if there's anything else but no there's plenty already and it's very heavy actually so we have those gorgeous papers which are truly love from AB studio I love 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 them I'll be honest. I don't know whether Katya made journal page or altered piece, canvas, I have no idea. Okay, I start liking it and Katya probably um, is, was thinking what I may like because this is totally my alley. I totally love it, totally love it. I've done some little project, let me show you if I can find it quickly. Yes, I've done ages ago project with those papers and um, with probably <laughs> some of those somewhere. Oh yes, this is part probably. Yes, it is. And somewhere else, maybe this one. There you go. <laughs> but I love those papers. Thank you so much, Katya. This is such a great choice. <gasps> OMG now. Oh my. Oh my. Enjoy the little moments. Have a good time, Katya. Look at that. Maybe it's Christmas because it was sent actually before Christmas. Thank you so much. Such a cute little ATC with this Rudolph. Oh, thank you. And look at all of these now. Canvas. So we're doing canvas, guys. In black canvas. No way, Katya. <laughs> okay. Mechanicals. These are new. Uh, from 
Prima, whatever you are, be a good one, be true to yourself, always, less perfection, more authenticity, awesome, hi, don't have it, I've never seen them actually, same for this, icing paste, oh, I've never used that, I actually I didn't have anything <laughs> new purchased from Prima, so that's very exciting, beautiful packaging, I used to play with Prima much, often, much more often, when I've been on the Finovar design team and I had her products all over my studio, I still have, but just, I use different things as well, you know, icing paste, it's gonna be interesting to see, a pearl, so I believe it's kind of pearl, pearl like griva, so it's whitish, nice. Oh, and then we have liquid acrylics again, I have never played with those. And these are color wise, oh, these are nice, so teal and blue. Blue wouldn't be my first pick of color, but I think it's just perfect and gorgeous so together, so very nice, lovely, lovely. Interesting to know how to play with those. Then we have mm, everything. <laughs> We've got little, um, little like stonies, like a texture thing. We have gorgeous doilies, which are um, from lace, lacy doilies. Mm -hmm. We have this little, this little bottle that we can squeeze in things in there and use this maybe. Hmm, and some uh, string, not string. You know what's that? This is gorgeous. I've div I've never seen those, and those are Tim Holtz. Those are stunning. Tim Holtz 3D sticker. Are they stickers? Hmm. Lace, cardboard frames, they not sing stickers, so frames. Gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. We have flowers from Prima and more flowers from Prima and the beautiful lace and all. And we have butterflies as well. Look at all these gorgeous things. Katya, it's way too much. I don't know what to say now, to be honest. Wow. It's amazing, all these gorgeous, gorgeous put together things. Thank you so much. Oh, there is more. <laughs> there is more things. And we have black canvas. Mmm, Katya, thank you for challenge. <laughs> because I haven't used black canvas in oh, very long. And then we have gorgeous uh, chipboards, snippered chipboards. Wow, these are so pretty. Okay, guys. Hmm, that is so challenging, so nice, so interesting. I need to have a little think about it, I guess. But it's a beautiful selection. Thank you so much again. Um, I'm having tons of ideas right now, at the same time as uh, a little bit of being scared of so many things and how to use it and what to use it. I definitely need to try these just like that, just how they are and what they are because it will be interesting to, you know, to see how they work. Is it full coverage or what's the story? Same for this. So I think before attempting anything, I think we should try the products. What you think, guys? I really believe so. I really believe so. We should use the products first and see the colors consistency and stuff like that. Oh, it's a lovely, it's a lovely uh, pearly color. Beautiful. Okay. Oh, wow. If you're wondering, let me grab the packaging again. It's icing paste. I think they're coming in all kinds of colors. From Prima Marketing. I'll try to give you links uh, under the video if I'll find them to scrapbook.com so I'll give you links. Mm, I need spatula. I wonder if this is... Oh, this is very thick actually. Wow. Mm, and I need some paper. Back to you. I have some black. Um, it's a book, old book. And I have white paper as well. So we'll check it on both. That would be interesting, isn't it? So let's see with this one first. <clears throat> Why not? It's not that heavy bodied. It's heavy body, but it's... Mm, 
I wonder if it's gonna go under the stencil or not. We will see. It's very nice and creamy. I would say very delicate actually. It's more like, yeah, like icing on a cake. <laughs> Maybe that's why it's the name. Like this. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Um, it went underneath it there, but that's okay. That's okay. And let's do here on the paper some leftovers as well from the spatula and from the stencil as well. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Beautiful. Oh, it went much better now. <laughs> but it's gorgeous. I'm back to you. So we know how paste looks like. Now it's time to check out the colors and the consistency. So, mm -hmm. okay. These are liquid acrylics. <gasps> Oops. <laughs> My brush is really oh, on the black. We can't really see. Hmm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. We cannot see them on the black, no. On the green, on the uh, the blue one. It is actually very, oh, this is nice color. Although it's probably mixed. So we cannot see much on the, on there, but we will see it on top of the paste maybe. Hmm, interesting. Let's see, let's see what we can do. I'm gonna put this aside now. I don't know where to start, can you believe it? But I have to have a think about it. Mm, maybe I'll use those as well. Why not? I'm gonna start off by modeling paste, as in icing paste. So we need to add something, um, some texture paste, I believe. So I will go for the stencil. Uh -huh. I think I have been washing it too hard. Okay, so the stencil. Mm -hmm. Or in the middle. No. I don't think in the middle because I will be... Oh, maybe like this is more... Because I will be definitely... Um, not in the center, but on the side, I believe. Something like buildings on the side fussy cut I don't know I'll see <laughs> I don't know not that I know no I don't so I'm very curious what Katya did um, it's very exciting but at the same time a little bit stressful maybe intimidating because of using products I've never used and that someone decided for my color scheme you know for uh, the, all the products so it's interesting it's interesting to see. The, ch the stencil is from my shop. It's my stencil. It's called Broken Mandala. And you can easily see it's <laughs> it looks broken, isn't it? I absolutely love this stencil. One of my most favorite. Probably I should have put something underneath it because it's kind of... It's okay. Look, even pack texture, it does not have to be perfect perfectly perfect okay I think I'm happy with that result here and it's gonna be I believe like this oh a little bit there but that's okay that's okay I'm gonna wash that and get back to you I'm back to you. This will be drying itself and I'm starting to fussy cut. I don't know where this goes, you know? <laughs> I seriously have no idea, but I'm very excited and yeah, let's do it. <clears throat> I think this deserves to be ripped, isn't it? Same for maybe this part even. Uh, maybe not so much on this side. Yeah. That's lovely. 
and I will actually fussy cut part and, and rip part. Mm -hmm. Actually, I wanted to say I know who, I know the lady, um, Stephanie Schutze. She is actually the author of those buildings. She painted them, drew them. So, draw them. How amazing is that? She's a talented artist. Artist. Beautiful. Beautiful drawings, isn't it? If you hear this crazy noise on the back, it's my computer saving the video. <laughs> I'm recording this and I've just edit, finished editing a video, so in a minute I'll be <laughs> uploading it. <clears throat> Maybe a little bit too much there. That is interesting, isn't it? And what an interesting mix. Some flowers as well with it going. I was thinking, maybe, I will fussy cut that as well, although I seriously have no clue what to do with it because it's quite tall, big building, but I feel it would be so amazing to have it, so I don't know, I may just cut it and decide not to go for it, but at least I'll try to fussy cut and see how this may be. I wonder if challenge like this is interesting to you to see the real struggles of an artist. <laughs> yeah, because you have to really think and I guess when you're doing project with someone like this, challenge like this, it's even more hard, more difficult, isn't it? I feel that this could be nearly Somehow, I don't know, somehow, somehow, somehow. Mm -hmm. Look, I'm just gonna scrape it like that and I start liking it. Mm -hmm. So I will fussy cut, or just this, no, that's gonna be too empty. So I will finish off this top. <clears throat> Although we have those amazing frames. So it would be interesting to see how those will match the thing, the frames from them. So I will have them in a second. But I should really dry the texture <laughs> before putting anything there. I would like that maybe. <clears throat> or that's, I don't know, I don't know. And we have the frames. Where would they go like? Oh wow, look at that now. Look at that now. This could be something. We are about to have something here. I don't know. It's like a tunnel. I have a vision of a tunnel. Do you? <laughs> Let me dry this texture first and then we can start kind of placing elements. Oh, we have the doily, which I completely forgot. We need to add any of that there as well. We have some more chipboard. So there is way more than we need. <laughs> Let me dry that. My canvas is dry, pretty much. <laughs> Let me just get this frame out for two seconds. I believe it will be too much and too busy, but but we'll see. We will see. I just want to kind of put things on that canvas and see where I'm going with it. Oh no, the glue just stuck onto that paper. No. <coughs> okay. I just want to see. <clears throat> so what was the idea? Mm -hmm. I nearly feel that I don't need that texture paste underneath it. You know? 
as in <clears throat> as in <laughs> what about if I'm gonna change my mind about it that's nice I like that actually but then I don't need those frames so much and I have those gorgeous things here I don't know my brain is thinking out loud I love it our flowers around it going as in that's actually very pretty isn't it just even as it is mm -hmm. what about that frame okay let's go back to our original idea and maybe I'm gonna swap to this which is which would take away uh, those texture actually mm -hmm. Yes, I think I much more prefer this quietness now of that. Of that background. So something like that. <laughs> I love it so much. Let's see. I just don't feel it's like this. I wish to use as much as I can, but then I just don't feel it's needed. Do you know what I mean? I would nearly leave it like that. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Let's go back to our original thinking. Okay, look what I have. Plans have changed because I just took that leftover paper which was here, covered it my back background because I think when things are picking through it's too busy. Things are, it's kind of very much, how can I say, it doesn't kind of make the frame looking as a frame or as a window or a tunnel I don't know it just didn't work so sorry for that I had to change it but look at that now this piece it's framing this tower this building and I think it's just gorgeous so then I would love to use the rest as well so I'm not too very sure about this yet here but look if we oops, if we let's say stick with frames the frame here we can have this one like that or it's better like this I think because we have like depth you know depth of building buildings behind something like that and this either here but I think it's covering way too much or here look somewhere like that or like this or I don't know I'm thinking you know mm -mm, no this should be like this because I think it's it's giving us this maybe I put it here it's giving us this gorgeous depth of farther away you know No, I think this is just beautiful. So this could be maybe here or mm -hmm. I'm thinking, I'm thinking. <laughs> mm, I think I have it. This is behind because it's smaller. 
<clears throat> it's smaller so it's a little bit behind and this is in front but it's a little bit big so I can just rip it like this mm -hmm. even more so so it's like it's it's here but <clears throat> it's here but it's behind it's in front and it's not covering anything too much and it's it's giving a little interest which is great maybe I could move this here or here even like that and this like that oh that's gorgeous now isn't it and then I think the flowers and everything so you know what before I'm gonna <laughs> lose this look I'm gonna get my hot glow literally now as it is because I think I just love it this way totally so I would love to keep it this way mm-hmm so I'm gonna get my hot glue here like here that is very interesting and challenging isn't it but I hope you like it where was it I think it was like this a little bit up higher something along these ways mm-hmm yeah and this is probably not gonna move much now because it is stuck oh and it's hot underneath it so be careful mm-hmm where's my spatula there we go makeup spatula I got this as a gift how clever is that now let me just add a little bit of hot glue here on that frame so it, I'm purposely having paper sticking out why not and voila I think we have it guys I think we have our base which is which is wow I love it so much I really wanted to use those frames and it's like it's in the foot in the um, picture framed it's like in some kind of corridor from further it's depth it's 3d feeling of it so I think it's just fantastic uh -huh. somewhere like that there we go awesome love it love it what do you think and it took me quite a bit I have to say one of the <laughs> longest time to figure out the, the, the composition but that's great Take your time. I'm just just experimenting, just seeing if I can, if there is need for anything else. You know, out of curiosity, not not you know, just <clears throat> just like that, because we have more frames, so why not? No, it's taking over, isn't it? Here. That's cute and interesting as well. Or we could technically do it, oh, maybe even like that. But I don't want to go overboard too much. So, oops, let's leave it as it is. Wow, so we have our base. Now we need to color or not. We may just skip the color altogether because <laughs> I love it black and white. But it would be nice to add some, some touches of color, isn't it? What else I've missed? We have those lace, but I cannot see them use it, being used anywhere. We have those chipboards. I think those could be actually, those could be nice, those chipboards. Let me get my craft knife. I'm back to you. I'm thinking, thinking out loud. Look what I just done. I have flowers here, but I have moved those greenery. So maybe I can actually skip the greenery and have only black and white and gray. I don't know. Um, because this greenery is giving me addition of different color which I kinda kinda <laughs> love this um, very, very mono, mono kind of 
monofill so you know what I'm gonna maybe do similar here just get rid of those leaves I can easily use them somewhere else isn't it there's always not enough there's always not enough leaves but in this case in this project I I actually feel very thirsty you know guys did you hear that noise of some pouring drink in the glass I felt instant thirst thirst from the kitchen noises hmm hmm <laughs> anyway so this is what we have and I'm gonna get rid of that greenery too because I just feel that it would be there we go it would be just too much you know I just look at this and see no it's nice like this so but what, look what else I've done I have took the frame and I took this so this was the originally original originally originally now this should be probably in the middle because it's the only tealish color at this point and what I've done is I have just put this here because I felt that why not isn't it yeah and then I just <laughs> took this frame from the flowers and went down 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 then I killed here but I don't know maybe maybe there's some way of of doing things maybe if I cut it in half and keep only this do you know what I, I lose nothing even if I cut it in half so I should do that and that's it and see if this is anything needed here nice and all I like that so this could be something like this mm -hmm. interesting isn't it <clears throat> So we're building layer upon layer upon layer. <laughs> layer number 321. No, because I don't want to... <laughs> Unless I'm able to move this even more. Maybe I am if I cut this more. And cut this more. Mm -hmm. Like this. <coughs> And maybe ha and see oh, go back. it's working maybe it's too busy but I like how different and dimensional this is but I think I'll skip this one because oh and I may add it there mm hmm why not so technically let's see if we could have some bit of flowerito anywhere here I'm still thirsty you know I may pause the video and get some drink because I'm chatting so much and thinking a lot and yeah <laughs> oh, what about no 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 go back Marta this was great why did you ruin it why did you ruin it <clears throat> I like it there. I may just get my hot glue before anything starts jumping. Oh, don't move, please. And just get that. Just get that there. Mm -hmm. And I think someone is eating sweets behind my back. And that's bold. I can hear that, Lucas. I can hear you eating some sweets without me. Stop. <laughs> That's not fair. You know that I shouldn't been eating sweets, so don't make these noises. These are this is unfair. <laughs> He's so not nice. So not nice. I'm trying to be on a diet and I'm failing every day, guys. I'm so bad. I, I'm back to yoga, which I'm happy about. <sighs> but 
but it just just doesn't feel like quitting sweets. <laughs> it started after Christmas, and I just in, during Christmas, and I just since then I just cannot stop myself, which is funny in a way. Stop eating sweets, Lucas, please. Look, then we have those um, beautiful chipboards, which I like personally. I'm not too sure, convinced if they're matching, but. Um, my thinking is, what about if I'm going to get a little bit of transparent gesso and go over my buildings, so when I get a transparent gesso on top of that, I may be able to add some color on it, because my paint will run smoother and I can do a little bit of water coloring, because I can water my acrylic. I don't know if that makes sense, but you know what I mean. So I'm going to get some transparent gesso over my buildings a bit mm -hmm. here and there here and there here and there everywhere just a little bit of transparent gesso so I will be able to just add some color because I think it would be nice to add some touches of teal that it's already in the flowers if we go for those flowers you know so I think it would be nice so we need to cover it maybe chipboards as well so why not I can cover it all mm -hmm. so. transparent gesso is good and needed. I think I'm gonna add some white gesso too. <laughs> Afterwards, maybe. I think I need. I need um, 3D foam so that I can have my building up, up much nicer. No, sorry. <laughs> like this. Even more. And I need my hot glue. Dum da da dum. Da 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 da. This Billie Eilish, she won five Grammys. Wow! I love her song. The new, all the songs, but the new one is also so amazing. Do you like Billie Eilish? She's the youngest. She made a history. She's the youngest. Uh, winner of Grammys, that's amazing achievement. I'm very happy for her, especially that she's a she created songs with her brother in the bedroom. So that's pretty cool, isn't it? So <laughs> I had a dream da 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 Okay, let this to dry and I'm gonna get a sip of drink while this is kindly nicely drying and yes, I think so and I'll be back to you. Hello, hello, how are you? Back to you, let me get some paints out here. And I will check it out and see how they are because I know they're not watercolors but maybe they will kind of act like them so we shall see it would be very handy if I'll have at least one cup with clean water which is hard to find but I may, I may try to clean it hey there we go <clears throat> Okay, let's see, because I don't know how this will act. Oh, look at that! Wow, that's nice. It stays in one place nearly. Well, it, it is and it isn't, but you can certainly do a lot with it. And it's definitely too much, as you can see. This is definitely too much. So I have an idea 
Okay, and I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna check this. Hmm. So it's nicely covering this texture paste, but no, it's actually not covering it too much because ah, it's kind of coming off from it. But I think it's nice. So I have an idea, maybe to be a little bit crazy here and. <clears throat> Spray a little bit of that with water and see and see <laughs> and see the green or the blue. I think the blue one actually. I think the blue one. So, how to do it? Let's see. How about if we kind of go here? Touches, literally touches of the color. So, you know, in the what you call it, in the grooves of like frame mesh kind of thing here. Oops. <clears throat> but very much, I'm diluting it, you know, a lot. I like that. Same for here. I may just. I'm sorry for the <laughs> noises, that's Lucas. Okay. <clears throat> so we're building kind of. I don't know. This kind of darkness there. <clears throat> If I want like something, that's okay because I'm gonna be adding some white just afterwards and clean it off, and that's gonna be fine, you know. So no stress there. So it's like in the sky where the gesso didn't go; it's not really smooth and smudgy. Where the gesso did go, it's nice and um, moving, but. I wonder the flowers. What's the color flower? It's really the the teal-ish color. <clears throat> so I may actually add that there as well. Just to see what's the story. Oopsie. Quick, quickly, quickly, quickly. Mm -hmm. Very pigmented those paints, I have to say. I would have to kind of play around with them more maybe so that I could know how to use them. But I think they're really nice. So far so good, isn't it? I like that. <laughs> wow. Mm -hmm. I think I'm gonna dry that and then when it's dry I will <clears throat> most definitely I will add some white gesso in places definitely I think mm -hmm. kind of I don't know smudge everything more if I can say And whiten up a little bit, brighten up. I don't know, I don't know. Just something that tells me to. So let me dry this now. Let me dry this and I'll be back to you. Okay, though. Done. Dried. But I need to add some bit of this here. And same for underneath here. Mm-hmm because it's moving and we don't like that so let me get this mm -hmm. and it's gonna be 3D now that's way better and we can just oh, this <laughs> 3D thing it's so very sticky 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 -sh. I have my white gesso ready I only now realize that unknowingly, 
I very much run away from black canvas. It's only here and here. So, oopsie. Oopsie, someone will say. Oh well. It happened. Um, what's the brush I'm gonna use? Is there any of that my favorite brushes? There is. Okay. So I'm gonna be adding oopsie, touches of gesso. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Oh, someone is <laughs> cleaning a little bit. Sorry. <laughs> no, I think I'm gonna go for my finger more than anything else. And just, I think so. And just kind of, I don't know, feel for it, you know? Kind of have a feel for it. Done. Then the brush. Maybe I should use icing paste here. But I don't know, it just didn't speak to me, I guess, afterwards. Um, I'm thinking maybe I forgot we have those maybe I could glue these down and make them white not gold and make this oh wait well, what about if I get some of my spatula <clears throat> let's see if this will work my spatula if I can find it but I don't see it oh come on um, here it is. Could be this one. I'm gonna get some gesso. <clears throat> Oops, sorry. And I'll get a lot of that inside this gesso, and we'll see. If I can actually have this texture paste with it, like a snow, maybe effect, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I could probably add this liquid ac acrylic into it, isn't it? Mm -hmm. have flowers there in a second I'm killing the black canvas totally now but oh well I like that. Frosty look a bit, isn't it? Starting to become frosty. OK. 
Okay. I'm gonna clean this off. Mm -hmm. This and clean my fingers and I guess have a sip of coffee. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna still play with gesso but I'm gonna just maybe get it a little different this time. Very quiet. Everyone is so quiet. <laughs> what do you think? Okay, let's try our snowy thing and I'll be back. Before this dries completely, I was thinking that I can actually add those, let me get my phone away, add those flowers, and as we were saying, without the greenery, for sure, so the grey one, mm -hmm. so let me get this on, actually maybe not those, oh. <coughs> I'll take those. Scissors, yeah, same for here. <laughs> uh. Uh, come on, and this one as well. So many metals to cut, not, not easy. Okay. So let's get that in there. Oh no, hot glue is gone, gone, gone. see when you look at the project before you start thinking about it and judging it wait till it's finished you know I always find that and when I feel challenged and all I'm kind of keep going because things can change and progress while you're adding one element or another element so and things are changing all the time you know Mm -hmm. I like that. Was I off camera? Sorry. Sorry if I was. We still have some grey flowers here that we can certainly use. <clears throat> Those all. We need the... I think the title could be there. I am nearly t <laughs> covering a lot of that snowy thing, isn't it? Too much nearly, I think. Oh, I like it there. But oh well, things are as they are. <clears throat> oh. 
Oops, hot, hot, hot. Be careful. No. That might be the teal one. Not sure why not. One teal one there. And that matter that way. Hmm. <laughs> Now it's time for our brush, I think. <clears throat> and we're gonna start adding white and snowy effect to all of our flowers actually. So that way everything will be more, more or less uh, together in it, you know. So. And also, a gesso will kind of stand out things a lot. So, after drying, of course, the if you try to add the gesso. Mm -hmm. Too, too tealish here, a bit too tealish there as well. Yeah, there we go. <clears throat> Don't be afraid to change your mind while you're working. Go for the in the different direction if it's necessary. <clears throat> like that frosted look a lot actually maybe some sp mm, sprinkles as well some splashes would be nice to have mm -hmm. <coughs> oh this is still moving <laughs> oopsie that's okay oops oh well the touches is okay too so it's not standing out maybe too much. Yeah, I c absolutely. Actually, look. <coughs> Way better. <gasps> wow, I love that now. <coughs> I liked it, now I love it. <laughs> okay. different it starts to be, isn't it? I need a little bit more gesso here. I added too much color. Okay. I think I would still <laughs> add some white here. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. 
so my black canvas is no longer black. I'm sorry, <laughs> Katya. <laughs> I took your blackness away. Oh no. Mm. Oh well. Oh well. <laughs> I kind of don't like this part. I don't know what. Oh yes, we forgot about the chipboards. Maybe. No. No, no, no. But I'm thinking maybe some building would help. Let's say if I'll get the... Let's find the papers. I'm sure there's some building left that we can cut. <clears throat> maybe. And add it. No. Did I use all the buildings? Oh no, there's some. Well, let's see. We have the same as this one, bigger one, and this one, and... Oh wait, how about... This one, actually. Maybe, maybe, maybe. It's just something, it didn't kind of quite work out in there. So I'm gonna get... It's too much whiteness and... I don't know, just... I think we need to rescue that middle part. With some... Buildings, maybe. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna check if we're recording, but yes, we are. <clears throat> yes. Why not? There we go. See? I love it actually. Something was just not happening there and I think we found perfect solution. <clears throat> I love it now. Awesome. No. Good, 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 good. <clears throat> mm -hmm. What do you think? Same for here. I overdid it, don't you think? I overdid it here with the white. Maybe. Maybe some other building. Um. No, that would be too much, I think. Yeah, it would be too much. Mm. We just have to probably leave it as it is. Maybe. Maybe, maybe, wait. Hmm. That could, that could be <clears throat> a bit. No, it's a little bit not happening, but I don't know. Found a solution <laughs> again. <laughs> Look. And I ripped two. I kind of make them smaller. I don't know, just... I just think it's gonna be great. It is kind of changing the whole perspective when it started and all. It's all about this buildings now and the 3D feeling of it. But I think it's nice. It's lovely. And it's very busy, difficult. I love it. It's... It's definitely something else <laughs> this project but I'm gonna be adding some splashes now why not let's add some splashes this is still wet all of that that's okay let's add some splashes white splashes okay I'm making the wadi with white for splashes mm. I wish for them to be nice and delicate and that it's happening which is Totally great. Wow. Now with the splashes even more, I think it just brings everything together for each other and yeah. Wow. <laughs> what a, a trip that was. What a ride, artistic ride. And I'm using gouaches from Arteza uh, for my splashes if you're wondering. These are the little tubes. Link is in the description box if you wish to have a look. 
Wow. Mm -hmm. It's very, oops, it's very snowy, isn't it? But that's, that's actually matching the, the whole snowy scenery down there. I may do it a little bit finishing touches tomorrow when I get up because this is still wet. I have splashes all over my, <laughs> my desk now, which is fine. Yes, a lot of splashes, very wintry project. It's this, um, it's like a manufacturer, like um, very urban, urbanistic project. But I think it's gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. I had <laughs> so much fear while making it, as you could feel probably. Uh, I wish to cover my my this all more white here to be honest with my own paint like just so but this one is the watercolor I think I wish to just cover it up more with this um, guys when you are struggling with the project just don't give up you know just go for it and you can do it every project is a Kind of it's a journey there is some destination but <clears throat> it's not about knowing it it's about the whole journey it's about the whole experience that we have you know and yes <laughs> I have to say it was interesting but uh, Katya I totally loved it and enjoyed it I'm getting this white here even more because I think it needs it <laughs> I'm sorry I took I took your black canvas and painted it white. <laughs> it was a good challenge though with the black canvas. Good try, good try. It looks that I don't really it doesn't maybe speak to me the black canvas as such. That's why I kind of unknowingly was walking away, walking away, walking away from it maybe. Isn't it? <laughs> Nothing is left. No, there is some touch touch of black left there. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. So if you're watching this video, even you came from Katya, yeah, YouTube channel from Katya's video, thank you for for joining here. I'm very much chatty, as you can tell, and all my videos are <laughs> like this. Very chatty, chatty. I'm a very chatty person. I love chatting and I love crafting here and now life maybe not so much life but you know that you are in the process with me I think that's great and that makes it very much um, I don't know we're just learning together from the mistakes from all kinds of ends you know I actually cannot wait to see Katya's project because I'm just curious how different she's gonna make it all together it has to be different obviously we just we are so different and uh, everyone is different so everyone's approach will be different I just cannot wait to see her once <laughs> Wow urban city old village old urban city I love it so much and I mean it Wow so much okay um, I think I'm gonna be finishing here guys not much more I can add I used I didn't use butterflies because I didn't think that uh, I didn't think these are anywhere matching maybe the teal one but not in this kind of subjectish thing no I'm sorry the butterflies didn't go same for the the, the lace I didn't use it I have used the little goldy dots here and there in, <laughs> in places. I've used the colors. I've used the papers a lot actually. I didn't use the, the this thing. I don't know and the bottle but oh and the chipboards none of it I have used. Let me see. If I can let's see what if what happens if I'll add if I'll add white to this one. 
maybe I can color it more white and maybe then it's gonna be matching more and maybe we add it how is that? you can certainly try you see I guess the monochromatic style speaks to me so much that adding any other color kind of ruins it but now I see it's gonna be great one last touches of so we have few lines visible but not all which is great <clears throat> but where to add it? Hmm, maybe maybe here oops somewhere here why not yes I think so even here but definitely lower looks better so I'm gonna get my hot glue and just add those hot glue gun I'm gonna treat it with white even more <laughs> absolutely even more even more but yes it, it is matching now the rest it's nice with the color look how it changed it changed a lot color wise you know so yes I like that now will I add more maybe maybe this one this oops the small one somewhere here like like it wouldn't yeah like it wouldn't be on its own the chipboard down there wouldn't feel on its own but it has its oops friends here there we go and maybe one more and I'm gonna color it as well of course <laughs> like there yeah why not why not don't burn yourself guys please 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 be careful when playing with chipboards and hot glue in general and with hot glue and maybe actually one more here mm -hmm. now it feels that even <laughs> the little textures a lot hidden but that's okay you know mixed media is about layers and you do cover one because of another and one because of another again so that's okay you know less stress guys about things like that no need to be worried <clears throat> there we go and I think it's gonna be our last for sure mm -hmm. and we need the white <laughs> we need to color it mm -hmm. So it's gonna be. Oops, I just added green by accident. <laughs> I am still recording though. So don't forget to check Katya's video, please do. And jump into her YouTube channel to see what she made. It's gonna be interesting. <laughs> I cannot wait myself. Really, really, really. Well, she chose those things, so I believe those could be her favorite. So maybe she's very comfortable with it. I don't know. Cannot tell. We didn't really. We didn't try to. We didn't spoil to each other things either. So we didn't weren't showing each other. I have sneak peeked her a little bit, but her project is already done. So uh, it not, it no matter to her more than she knew that I at least started. <laughs> she was laughing when I said to her that. I will start it tonight, this weekend, hopefully, and then she go, she messaged me, I hope you're crafting. <laughs> I said, your kid is on my desk, so I hope it's gonna happen anytime soonish. So, okay guys, we can finish it that, don't you think? Because I think yes. <sighs> wow, let me just put things aside a little, little, little bit so I can have a better view on the canvas urban city <laughs> urban city okay <clears throat> wow what do you think? 
I, and also I, I really hope you're not gonna be uh, saying which is nicer or not so nice or something please please don't because it's not the competition here at all so we are here to just having a good time and this is an annoying me that it's so black <laughs> so I'm gonna add more white there for sure let me get that white now even because I'm oh that's my phone because I'm looking at it and it's giving me a hard time in the camera visual visualizely okay so yes um we made this challenge for you to enjoy it's not a competition whatsoever we just wanted to have good time and I really hope we really hope you had a good time with us so guys jump in to have a look on the other project I really hope you liked it enjoyed it found some inspiration and felt something special about the projects maybe and you know learn some techniques and how to do things differently or how to maybe try to run away from problems and cover up things and just you know even if you come up with you, you have a mistake you come up with some kind of idea how to go about it so okay guys thank you so so much for watching uh, i'm gonna chat to you very soon happy crafting bye